Good morning, good morning. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to welcome you to this morning's service. We are so glad that you are here. Uh, please take time to, to peruse and go through your bulletin. There's a connection card in there that we want everyone in here to be able to sign out, especially those, if you're here for the first time or if you're visiting, we'd love to be able to get some information from you so that we can follow up. And again, hopefully you'll be able to return in, in the future days. You might notice that there's something different going on here this morning. Normally, uh, Pastor Bruce's Amen Corner is not this big, and but... The Heritage Kids, they're actually going to present their praise party, parte this morning, and we're looking forward to that. And so we're going to invite everybody to stand this morning. I'm Pastor John. I get a chance to minister with you, specifically to the students uh, on a weekly basis. So everyone stand up, and we're going to invite you just to greet those around you at time of fellowship. Thank you very much. Thank you, dude. excited for what we're about ready to go through? Yeah. Amen. How many think we have the best kids on the planet? <laughs> we all agree. Hey, it's also a good Sunday because we're bringing some people into membership and I would like these individuals to come forward and we will give, we'll hold our applause to the very end. Jaylene Hall. Is Jaylene here? Here she comes. Yes, yes, yes. Carmen, could you help me hand these out? This is my wife, <laughs> Jeff Harper, Joni Harper. All right, right here. Mark Michael. Yes, yes. David and Susan Sharp. Yay. Rod Williams. Come on, come on. 
so you can give them out. Thank you. Yeah, Rob's coming around. Just come over here and stand up, guys, and uh, right here next to me. Hey, hey, Mark. These are new family members. They've been coming for a while, but uh, let's make sure we make them welcome even right now. You can even say amen if you want to. Praise God. How many of you promise to pray for them? If God makes you think of them, how many are you going to pray for them? Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the family, guys. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. Good morning. As the rushers make their way forward, good morning. Hey, kids. How's it going? Who wants candy? Yeah. Oh, I don't have any. Ask your, par- ask your parents after service. Except for Lily and Lucy. Don't ask your parents. <laughs> uh, tonight is our Pentecost Sunday prayer summit. Uh, the live service is going to be held at Crossroads, at our Crossroads Church in Circleville, but we'll be simulcasting it here live from 6 to 8 tonight. So if you can make it, that'd be great. Also, if you're unable to attend our annual business meeting, it is Sunday, June 5th. Is that right? And the Sunday night service, if you're not able to attend that meeting, we do have absentee ballots back at the Welcome Center now, so you can vote that way if you're unable to attend. All right? All right. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for your blessings. Lord, we thank you so much for children, especially, Lord, the children of this church. Lord, I ask that you bless this time um, where they'll be ministering to us in a special way. Lord, bless each home, each family that they represent. And Lord, may this church be full of families, strong families, Lord, that love you with all their hearts. Lord, we ask that you would bless this offering. And Lord, give us the wisdom to use it for your glory. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.
quietly. You may get up. Well, I hope you got to see the adventure of this past year. We do a whole lot of fun stuff. I think it's pretty fun stuff that we get to do with the kids. And now we want to sing some of our very favorite songs and praise the Lord with you. And so if you guys want to sing along with us, you are welcome to do that. I doubt if some of you guys can do half of these motions, right? What do you think? So we are going to sing out. Who are we here to worship this morning, boys and girls? And do we give our God our very best? Yes! So let's do that this morning, all right? So we hope you enjoy our very first song, simply entitled, Get Up. Are you guys ready to get up? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Over here, bud. All right. We have an amazing group of three, four, and five-year-old teachers. This has been new this year. They used to be in junior church. And this year, we decided to kind of bring them in our area and develop a program especially for them. And I know that Alicia and Ashley and Kalina don't want recognition at all. Kalina had to take off to work. But I won't make you stand, I guess. Oh, she's going to stand. But can we, every Sunday, every Sunday morning, we have a rotation with our Heritage Kids teachers, so they get to be in here. But let me tell you, this girl here, Ashley, doesn't get into this service at all on Sunday mornings because she has taken this ministry on, and it truly is a ministry. When Pastor Bruce, who never goes over, ever, <laughs> goes over a little bit, 
she's got things planned. She is on it. And so I just thank the Lord for our Sunday school teachers of this group, um, Ashley Casto and Kalina, and then this super great girl. And we also, I can't, Karen, I cannot say enough for Karen. Karen takes on some of our kids that need extra one-on-one -on -one attention. And so Karen does a great job. She's kind of given up her Sunday mornings as well. So I don't want to leave Karen out. So at this time, we're going to let our little, they're called Little K, and maybe you can explain about that.
great. Vacation Bible School is right around the corner. It is the last week of June, and so we need volunteers. This year we are doing something called Mega Sports Camp. This is highly sports interactive. Now, if you have a kid that's not into sports, that's okay, because we've got you covered as well. So they will break up into different sports. They will sign up for a soccer camp, a basketball camp, a cheerleading camp, um, and they also have the option of if they like music and drama, that will be an option, and if they are artists, then we will have an art option. This is highly driven by sports because our community is big into sports. And we need you. Dads out there, if you can teach sports but you cannot teach a Sunday school class, that's out of your league, but you can tell them how to kick a soccer ball or shoot baskets, we would love for you to see me. Afterwards, I'll be right back there. Sign up. Just get the information. Even if you can't um, commit to the whole time, get the information and I will contact you. Also, Kids Camp is coming up the first week of June and we need sponsors. It can get expensive for families and if you could sponsor a child or partially sponsor, you don't have to do the 125 which it costs to send each kid to camp you could do a portion of that every little bit helps to send kids to camp we always send at least half of the kids that go to camp half that picture that you saw with all the kids in the yellow shirts were heritage kids and so we want to get as many kids to camp as possible so again if you want to pick up an envelope take it home pray about it bring it back put it in the offering next week we would love for you to be able to do that. Our you guys have been sitting a while, right? We're not used to sitting this long. And so it's time, guys, to stand up and we're gonna sing No Other Name. So let's sing it together. No Other Name.
here we go. I know you like this, so sing it out. monitors that'd be awesome all right this is one of their favorite songs this talks about God's love for us his strength his power being limitless in our life and all of a sudden one day we were doing the song and our girls and some of our boys decided that this would be a great song to do a little head banging if you know what that is and so this is our can we do the head banging song mrs. Truex so here we go let's sing it limitless I'm saying goodbye to any limitation I'm saying hello to the God of all creation There are no, no limits with you There are no, no limits with you You're limitless 
today because some of our songs we found kind of have some water stuff to it. This is one of their favorites. I'm going to ask my helper, Noah, come on up here. And we like this song. It's kind of low for us uh, sopranos, but we can sing this out. Deep Cries Out. Are you guys ready? Here we go. All right.
never knew what I'm going to do going left or right. We've done somersaults. We've been animals. So they never know. So I said, just follow me. Which, if I could just teach my husband to do that, we'd be all good. <laughs> all right, the next song, absolute favorite, I know, The River, Down to the River. Here we go. Sing with us if you know it. We're good. Will you just stand up for us? Stand up. I know, got my front row. Any capacity at all. Will you stand up? All right. Can you give these guys a round of applause? Our Sunday school teachers. It really does take a lot of people. Our last song, they love this song. I hope this song penetrates deep into their hearts as they get older. Because God is not dead. He is alive and active and living in our lives. And so let's sing, kids. Let's tell them, because they know it. But let's let them know that we know that God is not dead. Here we go.
Hello, hello, hello. Are you proud of your children's ministry this morning? Amen. All right, you may be seated just for a second. Anybody here wish you were young again? <laughs> How many of you did not have a children's ministry like that when you were younger, but you wish you did? Amen. I, I, my wife and I, when I were talking, it's just so awesome that we have a ministry that, that uh, parents and grandparents can bring their children to and know that God's going to be made priority. And uh, it's, it's, just, it's just a beautiful thing. I don't know about you, but I get emotional when I see this. And uh, th uh, these, these kids are going to turn out to be awesome kids for God. And praise God for that. And let's give our workers again a round of applause. Great, great workers. Amen. Real fast, our vision around here is faith and family. And we want you to know that, that family is important. So when Jody makes the request like, hey, if you want to help out sending a kid, you may not have a child, but if you, if you want to send some child to camp, I guarantee you they're going to hear the message of Christ. And uh, we may end up having a tremendous generation reach that 22,000 that lo that's lost in this community. And praise God for that. And, I, and I, just, I just feel again that we're blessed to have the ministry that we have. And these kids are as good. I, I, right now I, I'm thinking of a handful of kids that were absolutely, I couldn't take my eyes off of them. How many of you had two or three kids? Uh, if you could have seen, seen this little guy in the, in the aisle right here, there was another minister. Okay, this guy right here. He was having his own ministry going on right here. <laughs> just a lot of movement but praise God amen 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 I'm so excited so we'll make sure Jody gets back there to her table if you want to she's going to head that way and all of any other workers that are there what's the plan for how the kids leave you guys got this covered okay parents hear that you come to the platform and get your children kids just stay there until your parents come okay now we can stand together again Lord, thank you so much for a ministry that not only blesses our hearts, but Lord, we know that, Lord, these kids are in good hands for the generation to come. And God, use today to be a chance to remind all of us why we bring our kids to church, why we plant them there in front of Christ, and Lord, why the generation is going to be better in days to come. Lord, be with us today in Christ's name. Amen. amen. God bless you. Amen.